Hello, I am Dr. Satish Babu, Senior Consultant, ENT, Head and Neck Surgeon, working with the Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. This is a myth that is uh, spreading around people in general that if you have your hair wet and then you have to sleep in a cool room, uh, you can easily catch a meningitis. Um, that, that actually is not true because uh, just because you have your hair wet, you are not vulnerable to get infected or if you are just sleeping in a cool room, which a lot of us do nowadays with the presence of ACs. Uh, we all do that on a regular basis. So uh, that is not true that these factors will lead to meningitis. One more reason why I'm saying this is that uh, any um, infection that has to spread then to the brain or uh, meninges, uh, it has to pass through a lot of levels before it reaches there. Right? Uh, the brain as such is physically covered with a thick uh, bones called skull uh, all around. And then uh, you have the scalp, which is again another, uh, you know, about one centimeter thick uh, uh, skin and uh, soft tissues, uh, which are protecting the brain. Uh, and around, immediately around the brain, there is a, there is a buffer solution, which is called uh, cerebrospinal fluid, which runs around the brain, uh, keeping it, uh, you know, uh, good and healthy, right? To for an infection to reach to this level, to infect the brain or the meninges. It has to pass through a lot of levels, right? So uh, the only way it can come through is through a blood infection. If there is presence of uh, bacteria or viruses in the blood, they can get directly get deposited into the brain tissue or on the meninges and consequently infecting them. Otherwise, there is no other route uh, unless there is some fractures or some artificial pathways created uh, because of the uh, surgeries or fractures or injuries, then the infection can directly spread uh, into the meninges or brain. Right? Coming to the cool part of it, that is, uh, if you ha happen to you know wet your hair and sleep in a cool room, uh, it doesn't really impact on your immunity or your self-defense. Um, all it can happen uh, is that if the temp body's core temperature drops down drastically um, because of the above said uh, uh, issues, then you are vulnerable. Your uh, immunity, you know, probably lowers a little. Uh, compared to a normal person uh, and that period you are vulnerable. So that time you can catch an infection like a routine uh, cold or sore throat or um, you know stomach infection, urinary tract infection, you can pick it up according to the exposure and for that to spread to the brain it has a lot of hurdles to pass. So uh, just because you have a wet hair and sleep in a cool room it doesn't really lead to any meningitis or any such uh, brain fever kind of things.